Good afternoon, boxing fans. Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming and coming to you from Paris, France for Peter Jackson and the second defense of his lineal World Heavyweight Boxing Championship brought to you by Glory Days Boxing, available on sidelinestrategy.com. And in tonight's fight, it's actually a very interesting matchup. Um, Jackson will be taking on James Corbett, and their traits uh, will have an interesting interaction. Jackson uh, has the counterpoint trait, meaning he will add one to all counterpunches he lands. And Corbett, a defensive wizard, has that trait, the defensive whiz, additional minus one when punches are blocked. So that should make for an interesting and tactical fight. One thing of note, um, Corbett, uh, tough to get down, but when you do, he has a less or um, a worse than average chance, I should say, to regain his feet with a chin KO rating of six fresh and nine fatigued. So that could come into play. What's up, Matt? Welcome to ringside. As uh, Jackson has a good punch, he has a power of four, which is um, a little bit above average. Uh, Corbett, of course, was world heavyweight champion and had the nickname Gentleman Jim Corbett. Uh, really wasn't. Really was not a nice guy outside of the ring. Um, going, If you go back and, and look at the stories or read the stories about the uh, Jeffries uh, Johnson fight where Corbett was in uh, James Jeffries' corner, he was absolutely brutal in terms of the slurs directed at Johnson during that fight. And, of course, he would not... Uh, cross the color line to defend his title. So tonight he is on the other end as a challenger and Peter Jackson, the champion, will look to keep him at bay and hold on to the crown. So we are going to get going and right out the bat, Jackson storms from his corner, bell rings, and it is going to be Jackson in control from the outside. And as has been his uh, tendency in uh, his fights for the title, not very proficient from the outside a lot of the time, and Corbett's going to counter him and land two punches punctuated by a cross on the counter opportunity. So right off the bat, and I will be doing the uh, optional punch stat uh, tracking in this fight to keep track of total punches thrown and landed, which to me adds just a, a nice extra touch to the game. So Jackson, again, in control from the outside. This time his aim is true as he gets through with a jab and a cross. And three punches land. Defensive check for Corbett. And again, he has that additional trait where he will block an extra punch, but he takes all three of them in this situation. Jackson, again, maintaining his distance nicely. Let's the hands go once again from the outside. And that is going to be a two punch combination. And five. And Corbett, he's going to actually block both of those. So there that trait comes into play. Two minutes to go in the opening round. And I'm just going to start uh, rolling all of the dice at once, much like Rob does on his channel. Uh, outside again, and Jackson, he's doing a great job keeping space. 41, that's going to be two more punches landed, and Corbett's going to eat both of those, unable to defend either of those. but not much in terms of offense outside of countering thus far in this one. And Jackson, once again, he is on point from the outside. Double zero, series of jabs and cross the score. Five big punches land. Actually, I did not mark him that last time. So five big punches land for the champion, and Corbett eats all of them. Minute 20 to go in the round, and Corbett, very, very uh, reticent to get engaged in the action thus far. As Jackson circles, moves inside. Now Corbett meets him there. It's going to be toe-to-toe, -to -toe, our first toe-to-toe -to -toe action of the fight. And 13, Jackson, four big punches land. 15 now for the round. And Corbett coming up on a minute left to go in the opening round. And Corbett off to an extremely sluggish start in this one. Jackson once again circles to the outside. But this time Corbett takes control from the outside. 35, lets the hands go, and three punches land for Gentleman Jim. Defensive check for Jackson. He's going to eat all those punches. 40 seconds to go in the round. So Corbett, only 17 punches thrown in the first two minutes and 20 seconds of the opening stanza. From the inside, Jackson takes control back. 
Zero five from the inside, a big four punch combination, and just misses a possible knockdown. Defensively, though, Corbett, that trait coming into play, he's actually going to block three of those. So excellent defensive work inside by the challengers. We head into the final 20 seconds of the opening round. And six and a one inside. It's going to be toe to toe to close out the round from the inside. And going first is Peter Jackson, 13. And that's four big punches landed and a possible cut. Corbett, if he connects, is going to have a potential knockdown, though. So we'll see how this turns out. Zero, six, and Corbett from the inside. Four big punches land of his own. So a possible knockdown. First, we will do the cut check for James Corbett, then the chin check for Jackson. So Corbett cuts on a four or less. Not, oh, he's going to be cut. Or some other type of facial injury. And eight's going to be swelling around the right eye. So early on. Jackson's handiwork paying dividends. Now Corbett with a possible knockdown and five or less. And Jackson shakes off the best he has to offer. Round comes to an end. Very good round for the champion, uh, Peter Jackson. He landed 20 punches out of 54 thrown. <clears throat> and Corbett, not so much. He uh, only landed, he landed nine punches, but he only threw 23 the entire round. Stamina, Corbett definitely has the advantage in this one. 110 to 100 over the 15 round distance. And Philip Reynolds has joined us. What's up, buddy? So a decisive round for the uh, champion, 11 punch differential, <clears throat> excuse me. And our judges today are once again, Larry Rosadia, John Keane and Samuel Condi. Referee is George Seiler, which uh, is slow to stop fights. So a minus two to opponent's will uh, or a fighter's will on will checks. So let's see what the uh, judges have to say here. Again, an 11 punch differential. This should pretty much go to Peter Jackson in anybody's world but Adelaide Birds, and she's not here. So fighters getting instructions in their corners. And Jackson's corner, very uh, impressed with his efforts that first round. They're asking him to keep on the game plan, keep Corbett at bay, use the jab. Here we go, round number two. And from the inside, Jackson storms out and takes control again, and 36 going to be a nice three-punch combo. Pepper's a jab, then a cross, and Corbett eats all those. Corbett early in this one is very, uh, I guess, content just to play defense and look for counter shots, which really are not coming. Uh, he takes control now from the outside. 76, lets the hands go. Would have been no possible knockdown. Jackson counters, though, and he gets two punches in, so excellent flurry by Peter Jackson. Countering Corbett's punches, which just came up short. Jackson steps inside and tags him. Two stars from the outside and Jackson or inside. Jackson takes control once again and possible knockdown. 21 and Jackson lets the hands go. Hard cross punctuates that sequence and Corbett hits the deck. James Corbett is down. We're going to have a chin check and six or less. This fight is over. Can Corbett regain his feet? It's over. Early, Peter Jackson stuns the uh, ringsiders with a second-round knockout of gentleman Jim Corbett. That came out of absolutely nowhere. So we are three segments in. The end comes at just 41 seconds of round number two. Peter Jackson, a savage de demolition of James Corbett, and our punch totals are going to reflect that. All right, so Peter Jackson, <clears throat> for as long as this fight lasted, absolutely uh, dominant in the first round, did a great job keeping Corbett at distance. Uh, Corbett's defense did come into play. He had some nice moments blocking punches, but that straight right hand and that court, uh, caught Corbett cold, and he landed face first, did not move as referee George Seiler counted him out. Uh, very reminiscent of his stoppage when he lost the title to uh, Bob Fitzsimmons via solar plexus punch. So let's go to the ring announcer for our official decision in this one. In what uh, was 
many thought would be a 15-round tactical dogfight turned out not to be anything close to that. <clears throat> As your winner by knockout at 41 seconds of round number two, and still Glory Days Boxing lineal heavyweight champion of the world, the Black Prince, Peter Jackson. So a very decisive win for Jackson in this one. Uh, total of copy box numbers through one and a fraction rounds. Peter Jackson, 29 of 72 punches landed. And James Corbett, only 9 of 19. So a good connect rate for Corbett when he decided to throw. That just was not on his agenda as he was very cautious and when he did try and open up in the second round, got caught by a sledgehammer right hand and put to sleep. And RJ, it is over. <laughs> uh, Peter Jackson has defended his title with a 41-second round number two stoppage of Gentleman Jim Corbett. So he will be the first Glory Days Boxing lineal heavyweight champion to make three defenses. And up next for the champion... Uh, he had definitely his two uh, two toughest fights here with Fitzsimmons and um, Corbett. So up next will be the Irishman, Peter Mayer. Uh, Mayer, adorable contender, but somebody that Jackson should make short work of. So that will be his uh, third defense. Um, also in line after that will be Hank Griffin and Peter Felix and Frank Childs. And finally, the next really tough test, if he survives that long, is Tom Sharkey. So uh, Jackson could be in for a substantial title reign, actually. He could, uh, if he plays it right, get to the end of his actual real-life career as the uh, heavyweight champion of the world. So that's it. It's over, folks. Uh, no doubleheader. Um, I may do a Yankees-Red Sox uh, game, uh, game number five of the 1921 payoff pitch replay. But uh, we will save uh, Peter Jackson's next title defense for a later time. So thank you for joining us in this very brief uh, fight. Matt Steeler, fan 1933. Check out his uh, great uh, Glory Days Boxing Dynasty on Operation Sports. And Philip Reynolds, check out his channel as well. And uh, give both Philip and uh, Robert, RJL518, some subs, please. Uh, great channels. And RJL has a... 1994 payoff pitch uh, replay going and also a 1921 National League payoff pitch replay going featuring the St. Louis Cardinals in complement to the 1921 Yankees replay I have going. So hopefully we will meet in uh, the World Series at the end of 1921. And IDJ, this is not tank versus tank, but Peter Jackson was a steamroller as he stopped Gentleman Jim Corbett with a single right hand 41 seconds into round number two to retain his Glory Days Boxing Championship. So, gentlemen, if you don't mind, hit that uh, like button on the way out of the arena. Uh, remember, no alcoholic beverages are allowed to leave the arena, so guzzle those now. And hope you all have a great night. Until next time, keep rolling for that knockout. Anthony with uh, Bleacher Bums Gaming. We will see you later. Hope you all have a great night. Take care.